Achieving goals can be challenging, but the lack of self-discipline is often the main culprit holding us back. In his book, The Power of Discipline, Daniel Walter explores the biological tendencies within our brains that influence our ability to control our self-discipline. By understanding these tendencies, we can refine them and develop better habits to reach our goals. Walter emphasizes the importance of taking responsibility for our actions and the need to look at where we are now and where we want to be in the future. While others may help motivate us, it is ultimately up to us to change our lives. The book provides practical strategies to help readers improve their self-discipline, including setting achievable goals, creating a daily routine, avoiding distractions, and developing a growth mindset. By implementing these strategies, readers can develop improved self-disciplinary habits and become more productive individuals. The Power of Discipline is a valuable resource for anyone looking to improve their self-discipline and reach their goals. Through understanding the biological tendencies that influence our behavior and implementing practical strategies, readers can develop the discipline needed to make lasting changes in their lives. Idea 1. Strengthening your self-discipline. Understanding the power of your prefrontal cortex. To achieve success in life, it is important to have clear goals and the self-discipline to work towards them. Self-discipline requires taking responsibility for your actions and persevering through obstacles. In contrast, lacking self-discipline can lead to low self-esteem, difficulty in achieving goals, and lack of control over desires. Strengthening your self-discipline involves exercising your prefrontal cortex, which is responsible for cognitive behavior such as impulse control, memory, and prioritizing tasks. Studies have shown that the prefrontal cortex is more active when making long-term beneficial decisions rather than those providing instant gratification. This indicates that self-discipline is an acquired skill that can be strengthened through the cognitive functions of the prefrontal cortex. Making better decisions and consistently exercising self-discipline can lead to a stronger ability to persevere and achieve goals. It is important to note that other factors may also be hindering your ability to strengthen your self-discipline. Identifying these obstacles and finding ways to overcome them will be addressed in the next idea. Idea 2. Overcoming your status quo bias to achieve your goals. Our status quo bias is a psychological tendency that can limit our ability to achieve our goals. This bias is made up of several negative factors, including the sunk cost fallacy, loss aversion, fear of regret, and the mere exposure effect. The sunk cost fallacy can keep us stuck in familiar but unfulfilling situations, such as bad relationships or jobs. Loss aversion makes us afraid of making changes because we don't know if they will improve our situation. Fear of regret can hold us back from pursuing our goals, and the mere exposure effect can make us more accepting of a situation the longer we experience it. To overcome our status quo bias, we must use critical thinking skills to assess our situation objectively. We need to identify what is holding us back and weigh the potential benefits and risks of making a change. By challenging our status quo bias, we can push ourselves out of our comfort zones and take steps towards achieving our goals. Idea 3. The Habits of Successful People, Gratitude, Self-Control, and Daily Routines Successful individuals are often distinguished by their daily habits. Adopting new habits, however, requires first recognizing which ones aren't serving you well. By training your mind to distinguish between positive and negative habits, you can eliminate the bad ones and develop new, beneficial ones. Gratitude and self-control are two key practices successful people cultivate. In fact, these two habits are interrelated. In one study, participants who were more grateful demonstrated greater self-control by choosing to wait for a larger monetary reward instead of accepting a smaller, immediate one. Gratitude involves recognizing and appreciating the small things in life that we often take for granted. To develop this habit, Try writing down five things you're thankful for each night before bed. Establishing a daily routine is another effective way to create new habits. A morning routine, in particular, can enhance productivity and set the tone for the day. An evening routine can help you wind down, promote better sleep, and reduce stress. To improve sleep quality, try eliminating caffeine in the evening and turning off all electronics an hour before bedtime. In the morning, 
consider reading or engaging in prayer or meditation. These practices have been embraced by successful individuals like Bill Gates and Oprah Winfrey. By incorporating these habits into your daily routine, you can increase your chances of success and lead a more fulfilling life. Idea 4. The Benefits of Zen Meditation for Self-Discipline Zen meditation, rooted in the teachings of Buddha, emphasizes living in the present and controlling our thoughts. By focusing on the present moment and delaying gratification, we can achieve long-term results and inner peace. Practicing Zen meditation regularly can reduce stress, enhance calmness, and promote better decision-making. Breathing techniques associated with meditation can also help us remain calm in anxious moments and bring our anxiety levels under control. If you're new to meditation or have had difficulty in the past, the just sitting technique is a good place to start. Sit upright, relax your mouth, keep your eyes open, and breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth, allowing your mind to relax with your breathing. Alternatively, you can try the Shikantanza technique, which involves sifting through your thoughts without judgment and redirecting your energy elsewhere. Regular meditation will improve your concentration and prevent your thoughts from wandering. Incorporating Zen meditation into your routine can be a powerful tool for developing self-discipline and achieving inner peace. Idea 5. Harnessing negative emotions to build self-discipline. As you pursue your goals, you may experience a range of negative emotions, including sadness, anger, and frustration. It's easy to give in to these emotions and use them as an excuse to quit or avoid uncomfortable situations. However, it's important to understand that negative emotions can actually be harnessed to build self-discipline and achieve success. Rather than ignoring or suppressing negative emotions, it's important to acknowledge and understand them. Take some time to reflect on why you're feeling the way you are and whether it's related to your goals or a personal issue. By understanding the source of your negative emotions, you can use them to motivate positive change. Remember, setbacks and failures are a natural part of the journey towards success. Even if your efforts don't yield the desired results, you're still making progress and learning valuable lessons along the way. When negative emotions arise, try writing them down to gain a deeper understanding of what's causing them. This can help you re-evaluate your goals and make any necessary adjustments. For example, if you're feeling jealous, ask yourself why and consider whether you need to shift your focus or strategy. If you're feeling anxious, take deep breaths and focus on the small steps you can take to overcome the situation. Ultimately, negative emotions can be a powerful tool for building self-discipline and achieving success. By understanding and harnessing them, you can turn setbacks into opportunities for growth and progress. Summary. Self-discipline is the ability to control one's behavior, emotions, and thoughts in order to achieve a desired outcome. Without self-discipline, it can be difficult to accomplish your goals and make progress in life. Fear, low self-esteem, and poor habits can often be symptoms of a lack of self-discipline. The good news is that self-discipline is a skill that can be developed with practice. By training the prefrontal cortex of the brain, which is responsible for decision-making, planning, and impulse control, you can improve your ability to focus, resist distractions, and stay on track towards your goals. One effective way to develop self-discipline is through deep focus and meditation. These practices allow you to become more aware of your inner thoughts and emotions, and can help you better understand and regulate them. By setting aside time each day for focused meditation, you can learn to stay present and avoid getting caught up in negative thought patterns. Another important aspect of developing self-discipline is learning to prioritize tasks and avoid distractions. This means being able to identify what is most important and taking action on those tasks first, before moving on to less important activities. It also means being able to resist the temptation to engage in activities that may be fun or pleasurable in the short term, but ultimately distract you from your goals. With consistent practice, self-discipline can become a habit that supports you in achieving your goals and living the life you want. Now, thank you for taking the time to watch, and if you found value in this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel, and in case you want to buy the book, use the link in the description, trust me, you won't regret it.